Of course the answer is yes. What did you think was going to happen? You're going to click on this video, I'm going to say no and give you all kinds of excuses why this can't be done? No, 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 no. That's not how this channel works. See, I build cool things, make them real, doesn't matter how improbable they are. Anyway, I know it's been a while, but cores are complex, really complex. In fact, this is going to be three times as challenging as GLaDOS and just her head took me like half a year to do. And I'm trying to do that in a third the time. So it's basically nine times as complicated. I hope that's earned me just a little bit of leniency from the internet, but I still love you. And I have a lot of things in store that I'm going to be giving away, not just like physical stuff, you know, um, good vibes. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. And for the uninitiated, personality cores like Wheatley are spherical robots that have arguably sophisticated AI that allows them to run various aspects of Aperture Labs. And most importantly, they also moderate the behavior of one particularly naughty AI, who is the central core. Uh. So if I'm gonna build Aperture in real life, I'm gonna need more than a few cores. But let's just start with one. And how am I going to build this? Ah. Well, you know, when tackling an engineering problem and the kinds of design challenges that I like to take, it's really important to have clear goals and defined constraints. The first of which is usually... So how big is a core? Well, thanks to this blueprint that shows us the height of Peabody in explicit terms, we can scale other game assets accordingly. First, GLaDOS's head is huge, more than six feet tall. And likewise, Chell, even without the long fall boots, is about 5'9". Anyway, it turns out that cores have an outer diameter of about 32 and a half inches, which is pretty darn big. Wheatley feels smaller in the game, but that's due to a lot of perspective distortion and the simple fact that you're often viewing him from far away. I'm gonna build a slightly larger than half scale version because I found a really exciting part that will define the overall proportions of Wheatley, but more on that later. Now don't worry, you're thinking, ah, why doesn't he just build a full scale? I want full scale everything. Well, I want a full scale budget and I'm making do. But don't worry, I'm not gonna make like a little itty bitty uh, baseball sized uh, robot with Steven Merchant's soul in it. I'm gonna still make a fairly hefty machine that will be 3D printed. Now, I've got a few 3D printers, but Wheatley's still gonna be pretty big. I knew I was gonna need some help, so I reached out to CraftBot, the makers of my CraftBot XL 3D printer, upon which I printed a lot of GLaDOS, and I said, hey, do you wanna make cool stuff together? They said yes in the form of their new CraftBot Flow IDEX XL 3D printer, which is a tank of a machine, and frankly, it makes my other 3D printers nervous. I'm still putting it through its paces and learning its ins and outs so that it squirts out the plastic exactly in the way that I want it to and at the dimensions that I've defined on the computer. So you'll be seeing a lot more of this beautiful behemoth in my bigger and better builds as I build them. You can find out more about the CraftBot Flow IDEX XL in the link in the description below. I have a great segue for this next part because I'm kind of sleep deprived, I'm a lot sleep deprived, and I'm, I don't have a lot of creative writing juice left in my noggin. So this is the cool part I was mentioning earlier that's gonna define all the dimensions. So it turns out that they make five inch round LCD displays and it's just like an external monitor. You plug it in via HDMI and power it via USB and you got yourself a high definition circular display. It's totally awesome and it's gonna make for the perfect core eye. And the reason I want it to be a display and not just a light, well, at the flick of a switch, I can turn it into whatever core I want. So if you wanna see your favorite core wake up in the very near future, stick around. It's gonna be a fun one. Thanks for watching.